Hi guys, this is number seven in your chapter 16 homework. So the money creation process. Suppose first mean street bank, second republic bank, and third fidelity bank all have zero access reserve. The required reserve ratio is 20%. The, Fed, the Federal Reserve buys government bond worth of $1.5 million from Bob, a client from first street bank. Um, he deposits the money into the into his checking account at first main street bank on um, this Complete the following table to reflect the change in First Street First Main Street Bank's T account before the banks make uh, any new loans. All right. So the key here is this: one point five million dollars. Um, the deposit into his checking account. Okay. So once this happened, um, the this money will be going into our our banks, and this will increase how much our reserve is. Remember reserve. Is the amount of cash in the system in the bank so increase the reserve by 1.5 million dollars um, now if you look at the liability account um, the first one on the liability account is deposit so this money is coming from our depositors so this this would be represented by deposit and that's 1.5 million dollars so remember this is always equal okay so whatever change in your asset will equal to the change in your liability plus equity all right, uh, so complete the following table to show the effect of new deposit on excess required reserve when the re reserve ratio is 20%. So uh, reserve ratio 20%, uh, let's, do, uh, let's do a little calculations here. So required reserve ratio is 20%. Um, to find your required reserve, this equals to your uh, required reserve ratio times your deposit. So in this case here, it will be 20% times uh, $1.5 million. So that will give you $300,000. That's our required reserve. And then to find the excess reserve, this equals to your uh, your current reserve or total reserve minus the required uh, running out of rooms reserve. So in this case here, our total reserve currently is at $1.5 million. So we deposit $1.5 million and then the required reserve is 300,000. So currently we're holding our excess reserve of $1.2 million. That's how much extra cash we have, okay? And it's also asking for changing. Okay, so let's, we have this. The changing excess reserve, that will be your, uh, 1.2 million dollars, uh, one more zero. And then the change in required reserve we said is $300,000. All right, now suppose the first street, uh, the first main street banks loan out all of, all of its new excess reserves, so this 1.2 million dollars, we're gonna lend them out, okay, um, to, um, to the VD, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing their name right. Betty, um, who immediately used the fund to write a check to Sean. Uh, Sean deposit the fund immediately into his checking account at the Second Republic Bank. Then the Second Republic Bank lent all its new excess reserve to Eric, who wrote a check to Cho, who deposited the money into her account at Third Fidelity Bank. The Third Fidelity Bank lent all its new excess reserve to Jeannie in turn. All right, so that's how this works. So first, um, the process is we're putting $1.5 million of deposit and then the change in required reserve was 300000 and then uh, we're going to lend the money out so we're going to lend out the excess reserve which is $1.2 million now the next level uh, this $1.2 million will be deposited into the second bank so $1.2 million oh, missing zero and then for the second bank, their required reserve, let's see how much required reserve is, so 20% 20 of $1.2 million should be 240000 
um, and then the increasing loan. So whatever the excess reserve of this one point two million dollars will be loaned out. So to find um, the increasing loan, you know, take your deposit minus the required reserve. Uh, this will be uh, nine hundred sixty thousand um, dollars. And then this will be become deposit for the third bank, nine hundred sixty thousand. And then the change in required reserve will be twenty percent of nine hundred sixty. Um, so let's find out how much that is. Give me more room. So twenty percent uh, times nine hundred sixty thousand. Nine hundred sixty thousand. Oh, come on, what happened? Oh, times. Okay, so 192,000. So this is 192,000. 92,000, stupid. All right, so this will increase our loan by how much? So you use your deposit minus your required reserve, uh, or change your required reserve. So our, um, so 960,000 minus 192,000. Seven hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars. All right. So assume the process continue uh, with each successful, su successive, successive, the word <laughs> loan deposit into a checking account, and no banks keep any excess reserve. Under this assumption, the one point five million dollar injection into the money supply will result in overall increase. Of how much in demand deposit? All right, so asking for money money creation. So to find this, this is how you do. Uh, you use your first use find a money multiplier. So this is equal to one divided by required reserve ratio. So required reserve ratio twenty percent. So one over twenty percent. That's a five, and then your money creation. equals to your money multiplier times your initial deposit. So this just equals to five times $1.5 million. So this will be $7.5 million, okay? All right, so 7.5, there we go. All right, grid it now. All right, got it right. Okay, so guys, that's how the number eight in your chapter is on how to number seven in chapter 16 homework. Okay, all right, good luck. See you for next question. Bye-bye.